much do you preach this week uh, gearing up for this game, physicality? Well, you know, hopefully that's how you play the game. Um, but I think when you play, uh, you know, a team that – that plays that way and prides himself in doing that. That's something we're certainly going to have to be ready for, prepared for. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, that's a style in which, um, you know, we can play as well. Mike, a lot of positive cases throughout the league. Just wondering how healthy is your team and how confident are you that the protocols are being adhered to and uh, are working? Here? Yeah. I mean, we, we report, you know, I mean, we ask guys to report symptoms. Um, we follow the protocols, you know, exactly the way they're laid out for us. We talked and, and mentioned to the to the team this morning just about, um, you know, everything that we have to do to try to protect and keep ourselves healthy, our families healthy, and this football team healthy. It's, uh, you know, we're all conscious of the spike in, in, in the numbers. Uh, we'll keep a close contact. Uh, we'll keep a close eye on the close contacts and do everything that they're supposed to be doing. Uh, and, and try to do everything that we can to, to keep everybody safe. Some teams were told to intensify the, the protocols. Uh, obviously, you guys weren't, but have you had any thoughts about, you know, intensifying that within the building? No, the only thoughts I've had on is just trying to prepare for the Steelers and get this team ready. What do you see from Ben, and, and, and how tough is he to, to get down if you do get pressure on him? <laughs> well, I, I think you've seen, we've all seen his success uh, late in the game. Um, you know, just his ability to, to move them down and score quickly. Uh, you know, I know that that's not where they would want to have been, but you know, it says a lot about him, his, his offense. They're very, very good skilled players. Um, you know, the receivers are all good. The running back is, is exceptional. Um, you know, they've had some moving pieces with the O-line, but, you know, I think Ben makes it all go. Um, very good down the field, very, very good deep ball thrower. You know, he's going to take shots, and, and they've done a great job of, of coming down with him or, or creating, a, you know, a penalty. You know, really good technique down the field. Um, you know, and then he's still strong. I mean, he's not, as, he's not like he was when he was younger, but, I mean, he's still, you know, big. And, you know, if you fall on the ground, uh, it's going to be tough to tackle him. I have a question from Teresa. She wants to know uh, how good is it to be in a position potentially to clinch the division this weekend if things fall correctly for you? I, you know, haven't given that you know much thought. It is, um, you know, our weekly approach to try to figure out, you know, how we prepare to win and ultimately win on Sunday, and then, you know, we'll move on to the next one. And if you know things happen, then I guess that's great. But you know, we're really just trying to focus on having a great day today. Maybe the frequency or the variety of their blitzes on defense that are a bigger concern. Probably. Uh, you know, probably just the, the variety. I mean, I think that they're, you know, there's, there's different packages, there's different fronts, you know, where they, where they move some of these outside linebackers around and where they put them and, you know, some of the stuff that they do. Um, you know, it, it may you know, probably look unorthodox um, at times, but it's, you know, very sound, very, um, a very aggressive approach. Cumulative effect. On Ryan, uh, from the hits that he takes, both physically and and mentally, at this stage of the season, I wouldn't know how to answer that. Can you speak to uh, what Najee Harris has done for them this year and what he brings. Well, they, um, you know, noticed in the Ravens game when they needed to come back and they and had a huge drive there in the fourth quarter. You know, handed it to him. You know, threw it to him. Checked down, and um, the workload doesn't seem to have bothered him. You know, the one thing that probably impresses me the most about him is on the mistakes that they have made, whether that's, you know, an interception. You know, he, he's, he's the one that's, that's out there and it's at the front of the pack trying to chase down the guy with the ball. So um, he's playing with great effort. You know, there were, there were times he was, you know, breaking tackles, you know, really runs behind his pads, has good balance, catches the ball um, very well, you know, naturally easy. So... Um, we'll have to, you know, again, go into the game with the idea of trying to stop him. And then when Snell's in there, obviously he's a physical player who um, isn't afraid of contact. Their red zone offense, I think it's their tops in the league as far as passing the football. 
what stands out to you, you know, as far as some of the things they do, especially even like in, in low red zone specifically? They've got a few different, you know, the different players that they have have different skill sets. You have Claypool who can go up and get the football. Um, you know, you find him a lot, you know, around the back of the end zone and in the, in the corners. I think Deontay Johnson is, is one of the best um, just natural route runners that, that we have or that we'll face um, the entire season. You know, he's sudden. Uh, he's tough to bring down after, after short gains and, you know, he does a great job of, of stemming routes at the at the second level, um, you know. And then Washington plays with 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 really good play strength, and, and Fryermuth is is more of a you know along the lines of Claypool. You know, they put him on the backside and, and throw him one on one versus a corner. So that tells you what they think about him. You get Bud back at practice. Um, is this one of those just responding, see how he responds throughout the week situations? Well, yeah, well, I think that's been what we've done all along with. With everybody that that has come off of, you know, we're pretty used to this now after this return to play, and you know, see where he is and see how he responds, and then make a decision, um, you know, going into the weekend. What do you feel like the offensive line's done with the lack of continuity with guys coming in and out, in game, <laughs> game to game? Well, I, th I think that there's been some really, really good moments. I think that there's some. I don't think it's been a complete, you know, breakdown. I think that there's been, um, you know, missed blocks, uh, you know, and pass protection, just mistakes. Um, but they've had some really, really good performances, and I'm I'm confident that, uh, you know, we just have to stop having it be one person each and every time. And, and I believe that. I, it's not coach speak. We can show you on the film whether it's, you know, talking about the offensive line, whether. One time it was is Taylor, or one time it's Quiz, one time it's Roger, one time you know I mean every it's it's somebody different. Just like you know maybe a back misses a cut, maybe you know a receiver uh, doesn't run a great route, and you know, that that's that's football, that's offensive football that it's going to take you know all eleven guys doing their job to execute. Now that you have the five guys that you started the season with back and relatively healthy. How, much how do you know how healthy they are? Well, they're, they're I mean, healthy uh, re play. relatively healthy. Like, healthy I'm just curious how you know that. They're healthy enough to play. Yeah, okay. So, because I know you always talk about nobody's 100%. You're right. But having those guys back and playing together, how much can that help you down the stretch? I think continuity, especially at that group. But, you know, you look at any type where there's a defensive line and, and maybe that's the same guys talking about running games. You know, they get, you know, the same guy that they're running a game with. They start to build some continuity on how they're supposed to do it or how, they, how they're doing it. Um, offensive line is probably the, the most critical position to have um, that relationship of, of making calls on the fly. A defensive lineman slides over, you know, two feet and calls change. Uh, and so that has to happen really quickly. And, and, and hopefully the guys playing together um, can make that happen quicker. You know, protections change. You know whether Ryan or Ben changes the protection and, and making sure that everybody's on the same page, and then you know even more so than being on the same page is just you know making sure that that we block our guy. That's the most important thing for alignment. What are some of the biggest pluses that Julio Jones, you know, a healthy or relatively healthy Julio Jones sure. brings to the line? I mean, anybody that's you know, you know out there, I think he's you know one, he's willing to block for us when we run the football, uh, or if somebody else has it, I. You know, Ryan scrambled and you know, Julio did, did a great job of, of high screening the guy. And, you know, whether he would made a made the play on Ryan or not down down on the goal line, I don't know. But, you know, there's a guy that we had coached the high screen not to come back and, and drill the guy and get a blindside block. And uh, so that was good to see. Um, you know, he catches it in traffic. He's he's not afraid to catch it in traffic. We we have to find ways to continue to, to try to get him the football. Uh, we talked about that after the game. and. But he's got you know, really good size, and I think you know, last week was good to get him going here a little bit in practice, and you know, hopefully this week will be a little better. There was a post that he ran in the third quarter, I think it was, and he you know, seemed to get behind the, the secondary, but the pressure kind of knocked Tannehill out of the pocket. But how important is it to get those type of deep opportunities to show that he can still do that? Will always be. I mean, you, the, the more that you can you know, back guys up, the more chances that you have. And it's, it's tough to play with 11 guys at, at within 10 yards of the line of scrimmage. Ryan mentioned after the game, he 
availability throughout the rest of the season key to that as he continues to try to be out there and, and the offense tries to build can, with can only can only throw to the guys that are out there can only hand it off to the guys that are out there um, you know I know that he's focused on today and and where we are with the game plan on our first and second down against Pittsburgh what do to sort of become a bigger factor in the passing game this year um, you know Probably, you know, I mean, for the most part, catch the ones that we throw. You know, I know he'd like to have the one back the other day. And, you know, whether it's, you know, on our boot game or, um, you know, made a nice play on, on with the screen the other day. And, you know, we just, our tight ends, you know, I mean, their number one job here will be to block. You know, that that's, that's the first thing. Make sure we're doing that a little better. Uh, and then catch the ones we throw you. I feel like, you know, even without Derek in there, you guys have achieved kind of a consistency in a running game these, maybe especially these past three weeks. Yeah, that's probably fair to say. I mean, I think there was a lot more out there on, on Sunday. We'll have to we'll have to be better uh, this week against, a, you know, an, an excellent um, defense, you know, excellent run defense. And, you know, just, they play with great technique, you know, so we'll have to get into them and, you know, it's going to take a great effort uh, to, to run the football.